Welcome to the project demonstration of floating solar panel with uh, sun tracking system by using dual axis technique. So here uh, we are uh, doing the tracking system with the help of two DC motors, one for the east to west rotation uh, and the next north deviation. During the winter season as you know that the sun deviates toward the south side. So then in order to track that position also we are making use of this below DC motor and the above DC motor general uh, east to west uh, deviation uh, tracking system will be done. So for the sun position uh, monitoring purpose we are making use of these four LDR sensors. So these two for south deviation and these two for east to west rotation purpose and these four LDRs interface to the microcontroller and it start reading input from these two four sensors based on the sun position the system will control the position of the solar panel by controlling this two DC motors with the help of the L293D motor driver. So we have interfaced this L293D motor driver at C0 to C3, A0, A1, A2, A3 for this uh, four LDRs and while, we'll do, uh, while we are doing this tracking system we should place the limits for the uh, sun uh, solar panel position in order to intimate to the controller so the sun was set uh, toward the west or the maximum limit for the north direction and east direction so that will be that will be achieved with the help of this limit switch 1 for the west end and uh, another limit switch for 2 for the east end and another limit switch for this uh, south deviation limits so these are the main limit switches and the whole system monitoring on this uh, a mild steel platform with pipes which is used to uh, float this solar panel on the reverse uh, while uh, during the daylight to tracking the sun position and uh, so the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery pack so this consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp battery which is rechargeable and uh, these 3 are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp DC output so while the main project demonstration we should connect the solar panel at this charging slot as the due to this low lighting as you can see the low intensity lighting coming from this charging output so when we get the more lighting on this solar panel then we get the around of 12 to 14 volts which is sufficient to charge a battery so whenever there is no sunlight is available to charge this battery we need to connect the transformer at this uh, same slots right and uh, connect the 230 volts AC input to this power cable so then there you can see the light indication on the charging circuit. So it will take uh, 8 hours maximum and 6 hours minimum to be fully charged. During that uh, duration only the gear battery will get charged and after that you can disconnect the transformer to the charging circuit. So if uh, before that uh, time completion if the battery get full charge this charging circuit will block the current flow from the battery to the charger and from the charger to the battery in order to protect the battery from overcharging. So let us see the demonstration just on this power supply. So initially it will go to the zero position and based on the input from this lighting the system will control the position. So if there is no movement so if we cover all the things then it will stop moving and any input So once uh, the sun went to west side, uh, then indication for the sun set, then the, this second limit, the first limit switch will inform to the controller, the solar panel reaches the dead end level at the west end. So the controller will uh, rotate the two DC motors for the initial positions to reach the uh, limit switches 2 and 3 limit switches. So these 3 limit switches interface at the pin numbers of C5, C6, C7 pins. So once it reaches that, then I will come back to the normal zero position. Right.